This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, what is osteogenesis imperfecta? Answer, osteogenesis imperfecta is a genetic bone disorder, also known as brittle bone disease, caused by a variety of gene defects, most commonly COL1A1 and COL1A2. Question, how does osteogenesis imperfecta manifest? Answer, manifestations of osteogenesis imperfecta include multiple fractures and bone deformities after minimal trauma. Blue sclery due to the translucent connective tissue over choroidal veins, tooth abnormalities include including opalescent teeth that wear easily due to lack of dentin and conductive hearing loss due to abnormal ossicles. Question, what is the most common form of osteogenesis imperfecta? Answer, the most common form of osteogenesis imperfecta is autosomal dominant with production of otherwise normal type I collagen. Question, can osteogenesis imperfecta be mistaken for child abuse? Answer, yes, osteogenesis imperfecta may be mistaken for child abuse. Question, how is osteogenesis imperfecta treated? Answer, osteogenesis imperfecta is treated with bisphosphonates to decrease fracture risk. Question, what is the mnemonic for osteogenesis imperfecta? Answer, the mnemonic for osteogenesis imperfecta is patients can bite, bones equals multiple fractures, eye equals blue sclery, teeth equals dental imperfections, ear equals hearing loss. Question, what is the genetic cause of osteogenesis imperfecta? Answer, the genetic cause of osteogenesis imperfecta is a variety of gene defects most commonly COL1A1 and COL1A2. Question, what are the physical symptoms of osteogenesis imperfecta? Answer, the physical symptoms of osteogenesis imperfecta include multiple fractures and bone deformities after minimal trauma. Blue sclery tooth abnormalities including opalescent teeth that wear easily due to lack of dentin and conductive hearing loss due to abnormal ossicles. Question, can osteogenesis imperfecta affect dental health? Answer, yes, osteogenesis imperfecta can affect dental health as it can cause tooth abnormalities including opalescent teeth that wear easily due to lack of dentin. Question, can osteogenesis imperfecta affect hearing? Answer, yes, osteogenesis imperfecta can affect hearing as it can cause conductive hearing loss due to abnormal ossicles. Question, how can osteogenesis imperfecta be prevented? Answer, osteogenesis imperfecta is a genetic disorder and it cannot be prevented, but treatment with bisphosphonates can decrease the fracture risk. Question, what is the treatment for osteogenesis imperfecta? Answer, the treatment for osteogenesis imperfecta is bisphosphonates to decrease the fracture risk. Question, are there different types of osteogenesis imperfecta? Answer, yes, there are several different types of osteogenesis imperfecta classified based on the specific gene defect and clinical presentation. Question, can osteogenesis imperfecta be diagnosed with a specific test? Answer, yes, osteogenesis imperfecta can be diagnosed through genetic testing, which can identify the specific gene defect causing the disorder. Question, are there any specific precautions that should be taken for individuals with osteogenesis imperfecta? Answer, yes, individuals with osteogenesis imperfecta should take precautions to prevent fractures, such as avoiding high-impact sports and activities and wearing protective gear. They should also visit an orthopedic specialist and a genetic counselor to manage their condition. Question, is there any cure for osteogenesis imperfecta? Answer, currently, there is no cure for osteogenesis imperfecta. Treatment focuses on managing symptoms and reducing the risk of fractures through physical therapy, occupational therapy, and the use of bisphosphonates. Question, are there any support groups for individuals with osteogenesis imperfecta? Answer, yes, there are several support groups available for individuals with osteogenesis imperfecta and their families, which provide information, resources, and emotional support. Joining a support group can be helpful in managing the condition and connecting with others who understand the challenges of living with osteogenesis imperfecta. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn, review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, be sure to check out all our courses, which are structured to follow along with the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe.